the M18 fuel pipe threader. Let me tell you what, me and this little tool knocked out a job pretty quick, and I'm gonna show you how in this video. Guys, this is what plumbing is about, having the right tool to do the job, so I wanted to show you how it went for me. Now, right now I'm just kind of getting everything set up. I've got some little nipples there. And what I'm gonna do is you look over at the meter. Somebody had run into the meter before. Atmos came out, replaced the meter, but the riser coming up that went over to the pool heater was broken. So what they've done is they had just stuck a couple of nipples together, brought it up to a close height and capped it off. So what I'm doing is I'm actually putting all this back together. This was ran into by one of his neighbors a year ago or so, and he wants his pool heater hooked back up for this summer. So I'm the guy that gets to tie it all together. People ask me all the time why I use Teflon tape and pipe dope. And it's funny because I was taught this by an engineer out at Texas Instruments. I worked out at Texas Instruments for about five years and worked in the Murphy system, which supplies the clean rooms above it. And what I did, one of the engineers came up to me one day, we had had a leak on some threads, and he asked, he said, do y'all put Teflon tape on first and then pipe dope? And I actually said no, because I didn't. We used one or the other. And this engineer actually said, look, from now on, I want Teflon tape and pipe dope on every threaded joint that we do. And I tell you what, guys, for the rest of the time out at Texas Instruments, I don't think I ever had a leak. Now, as you see, I'm getting my nipple in my gas cot, getting it ready, because what I'm gonna do on a live gas line, I'm gonna pull the nipple coming out of the T, and I'm gonna put this in, and what I want to happen is, I wanna do this without shutting off the gas to the entire house. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I could've just shut it off, but there was not a gas cot going into the house. So, I had to shut it off here at the meter, which is no big deal, but, I've done these live connections like this before. As you notice, I don't smoke, so it's not a problem. But I use my hand, I pull the nipple out, cover the T, and then slide the nipple with the gas cock in the closed position right into place, and I don't have a problem. Now what I'm doing here is I'm getting my proper spacing because I need to get, put a 90 on right here and I need to put my union in between my 90 and my riser. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the nipples that I have and putting it all together to where I get that right distance that I'm looking for. And I think on this one was like five and a half inches total. And what I'll do is get all this Teflon tape pipe dope put together tightened up and then literally all I have to do is measure my riser and cut a piece the right length.
Now right here as I take this riser out that they've got up there, notice that I'm holding back up down on the reducer on top of the riser. And the reason being is I don't want to break that thread loose because I don't know what the threads are like coming out of the ground. But I want to make sure that I don't break that thread loose or that seal loose. That way there's no problem there. Now remember, earlier I measured this, so I already know what that piece is right there. And then when I get everything in, all I've got to do is measure my riser, cut it, thread it, and that's where the M18 fuel comes in handy. See guys, right here, I double check. And that's the most important thing because I don't want to have to recut this piece again. And as you see, I've got one of my worst tripods with me. It actually does not have the metal jaws on the end that holds the pipe. It's actually got rubber jaws for plastic pipe. You'll find out in a minute why I like this thing, but I'm telling you, this is a fun one to work on. But guys, there's the beast. I remember back when I started plumbing, the thing that I hated worse was getting that big power vise out of the back of the truck, throwing it up on my shoulder, dragging it over into the building or into the job site, wherever, and setting that thing up. And I mean, I'm telling you, when I was on a big gas job, that was miserable because we had to do it all the time. So this is the tool that I was telling you about, and I love this thing because this literally makes it where it really doesn't matter what kind of ice you have. And to be honest, I think I could have laid this pipe in the back of the truck, put all this on it, and it would have held it and done what it's supposed to do. Guys, what I like about the M18 fuel pipe threader is the fact that with this leveraging bracket right here, it literally makes it where one man can go out, do a job like this. You don't have to fight a power vise. You don't have to lug the big thing around. This tool, as you can see, look, I've got bad shoulders and I'm handling it pretty easily. I like it because it's set to allow the dies to come in, come out. And as you can see, it makes some good, clean, pretty threads.
So guys, what'd you think? I always talk about having the right tool for the right job. This is one that we were able to go look at in advance so we knew what we needed. I was in my truck, so I normally don't carry all my tools in my truck. I normally don't carry a stock truck around with me. That's the guys in the van. But this is one that I went by and looked at. I knew what I'd need. I went back and did this one myself. It probably took me more time to set up the cameras, the equipment, the microphone, everything else, just so I could do what I did. If you're using the M18 Fuel by Milwaukee, leave me a comment down below and let me know what is the best tool that you've used. I wanna know what you like best because I love this pipe thread. And as you can see, it helped me make a pretty good day's worth of work go by pretty quick. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.